Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Onin Guzman, and our topic for today is Properties of Operations on Set of Integers. For our objectives today, so after going through this math tutorial video, you are expected to illustrate the different properties of operations on the sets, namely closure, commutative, associative, distributive, identity, and inverse. And number two is identify the properties of operations on the set of integers used in the given statement. So for our first property, we have the closure property says that two integers that are added and multiplied remain as integers. The set of integers is closed under addition and multiplication. So we have actually the closure property of addition for real numbers states that if A and B are real numbers, then A plus B is a unique real numbers. So adding two real numbers produce another real numbers. Example, 12 plus 15 is equal to 27, 12 is a real number, 15 is a real number, then 27 is a real number. On the other hand, closure property of multiplication for real numbers states that if A and B are real numbers, then A times B is a unique real number. So multiplying two real numbers produces another real number. Example, 12 times 18 is equal to 216. 12 is a real number. 18 is a real number. Then 216 is a real number. Let's move on to the second property, which is the commutative property. So changing the order of two numbers that are either being added or multiplied does not change the value. So in symbol, a plus b is equal to b plus a, or a times b is equal to b times a. So for our example, we have 2 plus 3 is equal to 3 plus 2, which is equal to 5. And also 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Another example, if I have negative 16 plus negative 5, this is the same as negative 5 plus negative 16. Also, if I have 100 plus 99 is equal to 99 plus 100. More examples are the following. If I have 2 times 3 is equal to 3 times 2, since 2 times 3 is equal to 6, and 3 times 2 is equal to 6. So likewise, if I have negative 4 times negative 15 is equal to negative 15 times negative 4. Also, if I have 10 times 25 is equal to 25 times 10. Note that subtraction and division are not commutative. Let's move on to the third property, which is associative property. So changing the grouping of numbers that are either being added or multiplied does not change its value. So in symbol, if I have a plus b plus c, is equal to a plus the sum of b and c. So similarly, the product of a and b times c is equal to a times the product of b and c. For our example number 1, we have 12 plus 13 plus 14 is the same as 12 plus the sum of 13 and 14. So by checking, we have 12 plus 13 plus 14 is the same as 12 plus the sum of 13 and 14. So notice that 25 plus 24 is the same as 12 plus 27 because 39 is equal to 39. For our example number 2, if I have the sum of 20 and 10 plus 30 is the same as 20 plus the sum of 10 and 30. So by checking, so I have 20 plus 10 plus 30 is the same as 20 plus the sum of 10 and 30. So we have 
30 plus 30 is equal to 20 plus 40. So truly, 60 is the same as 60. Well, for the multiplication, we have 4 times 3 times 5 is equal to the product of 4 and the product of 3 and 5. So we have here to check 4 times 3 times 5 is equal to 4 times the product of 3 and 5. So we have 12 times 5 is equal to 4 times 15. So we can say that 60 is equal to 60. Another example is, if I have 3 times 10 times 4 is equal to the product of 3 times the product of 10 and 4. So to check this, so I'll get the product of 3 and 10 times 4 is also the same as 3 times the product of 10 and 4. So, I have 3 times 4 is equal to 3 times 40, or I can say 120 is equal to 120. So, let's move on to the fourth property. So, that is distributed property. So, when two numbers have been added or subtracted, then multiplied by a factor, the result will be the same when each number is multiplied by the factor and the products are then added or subtracted. So in symbol, if I have A times B plus C, this is the same as A times B plus A times C. Similarly, if I, uh, if I have A times B minus C, this is the same as AB minus AC. For our example, if I have 2 times the sum of 3 and 6, this is the same as distribute 2, so we have 2 times 3 plus 2 times 6. So, to check this, so the product of 2 and the sum of 3 and 6, so distribute 2, so I have 2 times 3 plus 2 times 6. So I have here 2 times 9 is the same as 2 times 3 is 6, while 2 times 6 is equal to 12. So I have... This is equal to 18, while 6 plus 12 is equal to 18. So, another example, if I have 5 times 8 minus 3, so this is the same as 5 times 8 minus 5 times 3. So, if I'll check this, so I have 5 times the difference of 8 and 3 is the same as 5 times 8 minus 5 times 3. So I have here 5 times 5 is equal to 40 minus 50. So truly, 25 is equal to 25. So let's move on to the fifth property, which is identity property. So first of which is the additive identity. It states that the sum of any number and 0 is the given number. 0 is the additive identity. So in symbol, if I have a plus c equals a, so examples, so we have 9 plus 0 equals 9, negative 20 plus 0 is equal to negative 20, while 567 plus 0 is equal to 567. So second type of identity property is the multiplicative identity. So it states that the product of any number and 1 is the given number. So if I'll put that in symbol, that is a times 1 equals a. So 1 is the multiplicative identity. So if we have our example, 15 times 1 equals 15. So negative 64 times 1 is equal to negative 64. And another example, if I have 100 times 1 equals 100 move on to the sixth property so there are two subparts so the first one is the additive inverse it states that the sum of any number and its additive inverse is zero so the additive inverse of a positive number is the negative of that number so in symbol if i have a plus negative a is equal to zero on the other hand an additive inverse of a negative number is the positive of that number. So in symbol, if I have negative a plus a is equal to 0. For our examples, so if I have 9 plus negative 9, this is equal to 0. 
On the other hand, if I have negative 58 plus 58, the result is equal to 0. Finally, 99 plus negative 99 is equal to 0. Let's move on to the second type of inverse property. So that is multiplicative inverse property states that the product of any number and its multiplicative inverse or reciprocal is 1. So the multiplicative inverse of a number a is 1 over a. So in simple, a times 1 over a is equal to 1. So examples, 7 times 1 over 7 is equal to 1. Negative 20 times negative 1 over 20 is equal to 1. Number 3, 4 over 5 times its reciprocal, which is 5 over 4, is equal to 1. And finally, 7 over 11 times its reciprocal, 11 over 7, is equal to 1. So that ends our discussion on properties of on integers. So again, this is Teacher on Indigo's Month. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.